How to mint your Solana NFT is what I'm going to show you in this video. This will be a step-by-step -step guide on how to mint your NFTs. The first step would be for you to go to solc.io, S-O-L-S-E-A dot I-O, which will bring you to this page. This is one of the biggest Solana-based NFT marketplaces, which will also allow you to mint NFTs with embedded licenses, ultra low costs and multi-currency support, rarity index for verified collections and public and private listings. In order to mint your own Solana NFT, you want to hit create this teal turquoise-ish button. Now there's a problem. You need to connect a wallet and login. So what we're going to do is connect wallet in the top right, click connect wallet. Now you can select one of these two, Phantom or Solid. I would rec highly recommend you to use Phantom Wallet in the Solana space. You can get it by going to phantom.app, as you can see in the top left, which will bring you to the Phantom Wallet website, the official website. This is just a crypto wallet, but you need this in order to mint your NFT. As you can see, turn your browser into a crypto wallet. You can send and receive Solana. You can collect your minted NFTs in here and you can see them. You can also swap tokens, so Solana to USDC and all these other coins. In the future, they will have Ethereum support as well. So what you wanna do is come up to the top, click add to Chrome, which will get you to the Chrome web store. You then want to add this to Chrome and install your phantom wallet. Once you're done with that, you will have it up here. You would then have to log in, get yourself your recovery phrase, your password, and then your wallet will look like this. First thing would be your wallet itself, how much Solana you have. You can enter and uh, add new tokens over here. Then the second one with the four rectangles would be your collectibles. This is where you can see your Solana NFTs. The next step would be your swapping slash trading window where you can swap Solana to USDC, the other way around, and all these other coins available. The next would be your recent activity. And then you can see change your wallet name under the settings icon. Now we have done the first step in creating ourselves a Solana NFT and minting it. So click create. You would then enter your wallet and click Phantom because that's the one you have. Now I already am logged in, but you would then have to get yourself a profile, which is rather easy, which only needs your email and a password. You can then go back to the web page itself, click create or go to the top create and then NFT. Once you're here, the create NFT page, it's a rather simple process. You can upload the artwork. Max size for GIFs is 10 megabytes. Click upload preview. There you go. Now you can upload your picture. You actually have to own it. So make sure it's yours and not copyrighted. Now you can already see the storage cost would be 0 0.0000982 Solana, which is pretty much nothing. Now go down, you can see title, please enter the title of your artwork. You can say paint night. Then a, add a short description. Please provide a short description of your artwork. You can now enter a description. This is a how to global tutorial on how to mint Solana NFTs. Okay, once you're done with that, this will be stored on the blockchain. You can now have the same description or a more thorough description which will be attached to our metadata, which is also stored 
on the blockchain. You can now have a percentage of revenue you wish to receive from secondary sales. So let's say you sell this NFT and the person it then rises in value because you've advertised it well. The person that holds it then wants to sell it to someone else for double the price. So what you can enter here would be 5% of the sale price that the person selling your NFT receives gets back to you. So this is a way for you to create passive recurring income from your NFTs, which would get you a lot of money if you create a 10,000 NFT collection. You can then enter an external URL. Please provide an extra to your artworks page if none exists, so that users, if one exists, so that users can learn about your artwork. This is where you would put your your homepage. If you are going to make it big, you can then add tags, select tags. You can now say artifact, trading card, print, domain name, physical, all these things. I'd say image this would be an image you can enter several i think yeah trading card all these things then there's license please compare the available copyright license by clicking on the docs read through it and if you're okay with all these things you can select a license public display all these things let's say commercial Collection, I don't have a collection yet. You would have to create one under create at the top and then collection. Now you can enter traits. Please provide the traits for your NFT. You can add more than one trait. Let's say color green or red. Now you can enter more, say blue and purple. Now these are the traits that can occur on your NFTs. It doesn't apply to our painting because it's only one single thing. But once you have several you upload, this will come to an effect. To effect. You can also enter, enable this if your content is explicit or sensitive. If it's not, you're good to go. Keep this off. The next step, as you can see, it's not listed. So what you want to do now is come to the bottom and click Mint NFT. Now this will pop up, which is your Phantom Wallet. You now need to prove the transaction. This would cost you 5 cents, I think it's currently, but you need to make sure you have at least 0.1 Solana in your wallet in order to pay for the storage cost and the transaction network fees, which are negligible, honestly. You then hit approve. We don't have enough, but once you do that, your NFT will be minting and you can then go on and sell your NFT on Solsi or any other platform. That's how to mint your Solana NFT on Solsi. If this video helped you out, leave a like, comment and subscribe. Bye.